G'day all, I'm Alan Carrington, this is Live Learning Design and I am really excited that today I'm premiering the new countdown timer for my tutorials. What do you think of it? Let me know uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about Keynote. Okay, what did you think of it? I've got to be honest and say I was pretty happy with it. Okay, now I'd like to just take a little bit more time and revisit my tutorial on Keynotes and Ecamm Live. I was truly honoured for the amount of positive feedback and uh, encouragement I got from everybody as to it, how helpful it was. And thank you for all of that. Now, um, what I want to do is revisit one area which raised some questions in, in some of the people that was learning from it, which usually means the teachers didn't, didn't do a good enough job, and that was true. I revisited it and found that I, uh, I could have been clearer. So I'm going to pass the machine across to Keynote. I'm going to use e um, ScreenFlow, a different program, because I want to use some call-out features of it. And then uh, if there's any more questions, a text message me, ask me on Facebook, uh, you know, there's no such thing as a dumb question except the one you don't ask. So let me know what you think. The first step in the process is to, to create a positional to put into Keynote so that you know where the approximately where the uh, the cutouts will be. So identify, uh, set your screen up like this with the, the visitor in one side and yourself on the other. Come down to the cameras, identify the camera, press zoom and pan and you can sort of take it down and say, all right, that's about right where I want it and then change cameras. And of course, it's a lot better if you've actually got a real person sitting there. Um, but for the exercises, it'll be fine. Bring them down into the same perspective and say, OK, that'll do it. Uh, then you can take a screenshot of that. And I'll do just that. That looks about right. And we capture it. Okay, now let's bring up Keynote and we'll open a new Keynote f f file. And from the template, we'll just pick white on or black, type on white. We'll take the type off it from the default opener and we will then take it down a little bit so it's in fact, uh, we can see the edges of the slide. Now, what we can now do is that we want to go and get that that cutout. Now I've, I've positioned my screen so I can see it here. Now if I take that and drop it onto the, the screen, that's the cutout from Ecamm Live. It's just what we call a positional. Okay, take it down, make it get the, it squared. Now that's basically where the talent present company excluded, uh, is positioned on the screen of Ecamm and um, what we now want to do is we want to develop two cutouts that they fit into and then we can put all sorts of other stuff around it later. So what we need to do is create a shape and we use the standard size one and we will go over here and we will put it just create a shape like so. 
Now, of course, being black and f or being filled, it's not much good. So we'll make it a line. Okay, we'll make the color white for these. Might take it down a couple of points. That'll do. And we'll make the color fill or no fill. And now it's a border. Now we will take that down there. We'll think to yourself, now if I wriggle, will I get out of camera? So we'll make it just a little bigger. And we'll approximate it there. Okay. That's a nice look. And then we'll take it, copy and paste. And we'll bring this over here. A good hint when you're doing something like this is to take click on the background one and uh, and arrange it and lock it so that you you can't shift it. So now you've got the two borders, and they the they are two shapes we want to take in to work with in the next slide, but we want them to be solid. I think it would be safer, so we will take that and we will turn it back the way it was. We'll take a fill to a color fill. Uh, I must have missed that one. So we'll do that one too and color fill. And then we would take this and we would uh, change the color just for the heck of it. We'll make it cyan, make it uh, uh, cyan and we'll bring it up there. And now we've got two cyan square shape uh, rectangular shapes and that's what we're going to work with in the next slide so we will uh, add a slide make it blank and now what we're going to do is we're going to take a shape and make it a background we make the shape we come up here we take the shape down full screw full slide so it covers everything and that shape is our background now what we really want is the textured background so this is the way it works we can then turn around and make it image fill and it fills with a default image which is not the one you want so you can then go back to your your, your chosen jpeg and drop it over here now what we've now got is a cementy looking thing on the slide which looks like an image but it is not it is a shape okay and now we can uh, use the power of the the shapes and so you highlight one and you'll highlight two you can take a copy you can then go across make it a paste and you've got the two positional cutouts now if you then hold down your shift key and add on the background shape what happens up here in format you will see go down to shapes and lines and you see you've now got active unite intersect subtract and exclude so you can then go across to image rather shapes go down to subtract shape and that happens the top shape is removed from the bottom shape okay and so just to prove what we're doing, if you click off that back, off everything really, and you then go down there and put no fill, it turns black. Color fill, no fill. Okay? Now that, what you see there, is a complete cover of a shape with two holes in it. So when it's loaded into Ecamm, it becomes a uh, frame for video. On this base, which is a shape to cover the entire screen with two holes in it to let the cameras come through, we can do whatever we want in Keynote to add some pizzazz and some uh, wow factor, if you want to call it that. So I've set up um, some details on this extra slide here, and we'll just copy it all, and we'll bring it over here and paste it now we have identified the guest and myself and we can do two things we can export it as uh, a static which has to be a transparent png or we could add animation to it and export it as a movie 
So let's start with a static J, uh, static PNG. Okay, all we're going to do is going to get. Okay, up here to export. Export to images from two to two but this time it's a PNG and you must include the export with transparent background so when you export that we'll just call it static cutout and it'll have a dot PNG suffix on it export it okay now we're going to show you that we've got a little bit of pizzazz in here and we can um, put animations and up here it's got a shimmer and we have to see what and that one is the, the same and of course it one will follow the other uh, like so and so we'll now export it as a movie it's a one slide movie so we'll go up to the file export export to a movie and this time it's self-playing it's a movie but it is in fact custom and in the custom you can do it 1024 768 which is basically a 720 thing and it's not as uh, bigger file but just for the exercise we'll do it um, as as that and it's h.264 default <coughs> excuse me which we will change to an Apple ProRes 4444 and notice it's now export with tr transparent backgrounds uh, and the thing has got no fill so everything's going to work fine we want to make sure we pick up the right slide of course we only want it from two to two or we'll have all sorts of fun and games okay let's export that let's get them across to ecamm and we'll see what we got right now let's see what happens when we get them into ecamm uh, we've got the two files down here uh, ready to, to drop on we have set up two scenes over here. One's a static one. They're identical at the moment. And the second one, same cameras. And it's the animated one. And so we'll put it back to the static. We'll go down here. We'll grab the static PNG. We drop it on. And bingo. We've got cutouts. We've got live cameras working with all sorts of things happening. My guest is there wiggling around, which, asking him to be still. That's a joke. But then, uh, so that's the static one. And then if you're really starting to get, uh, uh, like you want some wow factor in it, you can go to the next one. And this one is actually a movie. And it's uh, only 720 movie. Doesn't need to be high resolution because, or rather full HD, because uh, it's it's not sharp. It does, hasn't any sharp. And so you just take it up there and you place it. You can see the animations are actually running already. But this is what it looks like. There's your static one, and then you change the scene. And bingo, we have animated logos that come in, and the holes are there, the cameras are working. You can do whatever you like there in Keynote Animations, and everything works. Okay, now I hope it's clearer. I hope that people have, uh, if you've got any questions at all, just drop me a text or a comment in the post and put me and 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 flag me and um uh hopefully this will uh, empower you uh into to new new heights of creativity thank you